Howdy do D. So glad to see you. This clip will take us back to summer camp to talk about interpreting data on a dot plot. Roll the clip. Welcome to Data's R Us. How can I help you? Hello. I went to summer camp and there is a humongous high dive called the Sky High Dive. Well, a friend of mine took a survey of a group of kids at camp. She asked them how many times they've jumped off the sky high dive. But the way she put the information is just so weird. This isn't weird. It is called a dot plot. The title tells us we will be looking at the amount of jumps off the sky high dive. The horizontal axis tells us the number of jumps each person surveyed took. The dots represent the amount of people who took the amount of jumps. So for example, five people have never jumped off the sky high dive. So like, I wanna know, did more people jump four or more times or did more people jump three or less times? Great question. Let's start by labeling our dot towers. We already know that five people have never jumped, so let's put a five on top of the zero tower. Now let's label the rest of the towers. Looking at our labels, I will add the amount of people that jumped four or more times. And you add the amount of people that jumped three or less times. Sounds good. So I need to add one plus two plus nine. That gives me a total of 12 people. I will add five plus seven plus three. My total is 15 people. Oh my gosh. Less people have jumped four or more times than compared to the people who have jumped three or less times. That's correct. Last question, and this is going to drive you crazy. How many total jumps did the whole group of kids take? Let's start with labeling again. The zero column will be the easiest because there were no jumps and anything times zero is zero. We will label this tower zero. The next tower shows seven and they each took one jump. One times seven equals seven. I'll do the next couple. Three people took two jumps each. Two times three equals six. Four jumps is pretty easy because there's only one person, so that's four. Now, two times five equals 10. And six dot tower equals 54. To find the total amount of jumps, we have to add seven plus six plus four plus 10 plus 54 for a grand total of 81 jumps. Far out. Like, that is a lot of airtime. Like, I really appreciate you helping me out. Maybe I'll see you sometime on the sky high dive.